uh, are, as you say, going to be talking about uh, our, our booster, or reds and greens. And of course, uh, if we're talking about our booster, we will also be talking about genetics and epigenetics. So maybe what I'll do is I will just share my screen if you give me a moment. There, how does that look? Good. Beautiful. Excellent. Great. So, um, speaking of epigenetics, um, and in particular, NRF2 activators, it's incredibly how quickly this science is evolving. Uh, since we had our introduction on this uh, a little while ago, there have been so many copycats out there uh, jumping on the bandwagon. And uh, although some do a great job explaining the, the brilliance of this field, um, a few of them, <laughs> if any, are, are delivering any results. So let's just do a quick review for the people out there who have not had a chance uh, to look at our earlier material. Um, today, you can pick up your cell phone and for about a hundred bucks, uh, order a kit from ancestry.com or 23andMe and they'll send you a little bottle to collect a sample of your spit and send you back your DNA uncoded. Uh, of course, we still don't understand all the codes, but this is advancing at light speed. I mean, each month, uh, this gets better and better and more detailed. So well, what do you do with this code? What do you do with this genetic code? Uh, well, you can get a prediction of certain health disorders that you are coded for and take steps to avoid problems like changing your diet or, or, or taking certain medications. In fact, you may be able to tell which medications you will respond to and which ones you're resistant to. I mean, this is just incredible. And in the next 10 years, uh, you'll be submitting a sample uh, to your health professional, and he or she will be able to design a specific diet that will be best for you and specific medications that will work best for you. This is guaranteed. Okay, so we're able to read this code now and we're able to predict to a certain degree what problems you might encounter. And we'll be able to develop a diet and a medication tailored to your needs. But let's say we have all that. What's missing? What's missing? Well, can we actually change the code? So this is where it gets interesting. What most people know about genetics is that we are a result of what is coded in our DNA, the blueprint of information that lies inside all of our cells. Of course, our environment could affect to a certain degree how this blueprint turns out, but the code was the code and you were stuck with the hand that you were dealt with from birth. That was the old belief and that's what you find in all the books. So throw away all the books, folks, because here is our new understanding of genetics. DNA point two. There are actually physical structures that can be tagged onto a DNA molecule sitting on the outside of this double helix that can affect how the DNA reads. Uh, you see one of these structures here? This is what we call an epigenetic switch. Now look what happens when the switch is turned on. See, it, it, it turned green there, and it changed the DNA code as well. You see, now the DNA is turned green as well. And by changing the DNA code, it changes the outcome too. This is incredible, something that can actually change your software. 
Now, I know all of you have been having great success uh, with the reds and greens. Um, it actually represents a breakthrough in science. Uh, this word breakthrough is, is so often used and abused in nutritional products, but let me explain to you why this term is accurate here. It's a breakthrough because we are taking part in a revolution in science. Doctors and scientists are throwing away the old books of genetics because this field of epigenetics is completely changing our understanding of this topic. This new field of epigenetics has now taught us that we can actually change the codes embedded in our own DNA. This means we have control over much of what lies in our DNA. We'll be soon be able to predict disease and uh, uh, have a chance to avoid it through epigenetics. We'll soon be able to tailor our medications, as I mentioned, and even our diets for you to have the best outcomes. And in less than 10 years from now, we'll all have access to our own genetic codes and the potential epigenetic switches that will affect our lives. Let's look at how the field of epigenetics has actually grown. Uh, I first started noting material coming out um, in the journals around the year 2000 or so. It, it was interesting, but still undeveloped. Just look how this science has grown from a, a couple dozen articles in 2000 to over 20,000 articles in 2020, and it's still growing. This is a one thousand percent increase and Immunitech is now part of this revolution. So let's look at another word that has entered into our lingo recently. The NRF2 gene. Yes, this is what you're just starting to see all over the place. So what is the NRF2 gene? It's one of those switches that we looked at earlier. In fact, what research is showing us is that this switch is so important, scientists are calling it our critical survival gene. When things get tough uh, at a cellular level, of course, like a flood of toxins or a storm of free radicals or a tsunami of oxidation, the cell tries to activate the NRF2 gene to increase its chances of survival. And how do you activate the NRF2? How do you turn it on? Well, as the term implies, you need to activate it. You need to find an NRF2 activator. And what does switching on the NRF2 gene do? Well, it improves all of your antioxidants, whether you're getting them from your supplements or whether you're getting them from fresh fruits and vegetables, all the other antioxidants will have improved action if the NRF2 gene is activated. And the kicker here is that it also raises the activity of glutathione. That's why this is so special to me. Uh, this was the first time I found something that so greatly affects glutathione function since I came across Immunical. Let me say that again. Since I came across Immunical, I haven't found anything until this NRF2 activation that has changed uh, our ability to take advantage of glutathione. And in fact, uh, this gene, when properly activated, can increase the activity of all of your antioxidants for up to 72 hours. That's three days. And what do we use? What does Immunical use as an NRF2 activator? Something called sulforaphane. This is a substance found in broccoli. So all these years, your grandmother was right. Eat your broccoli, it's good for you. Now we know why. It has the best NRF2 activator in it. And 
How do I know it's the best one? Well, I've actually sat with uh, the researchers who started this whole field, uh, Ander Zimmerman and Jen Fahey and others from John Hopkins University. This is where all the pioneering work was done. And they are very clear about this. Sulforaphane is the way to go. And here's something else you may want to do if you're a keener. Look up articles on PubMed.gov. Uh, this is the best resource for examining existing publishing published research. Every researcher, every scientist uses this. I, I'm on this every day. And what do you find when you look up sulforaphane? Well, I'll tell you what you find, a lot. Uh, this substance is the most highly researched and validated NRF2 activator proven to work in humans. There are many out there and people are pitching you on them, but sulforaphane is the way to go. Uh, and what other evidence do I have to say this is the best trigger? Well, remember what I always say, research, 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 but look at the evidence. Uh, when you compare sulforaphane to any other substance, it has by far the strongest effect on turning on the NRF2 gene. So let's do a quick review of how glutathione is produced by the cell using immunocal, and you'll see how this all ties in together. Uh, most of you know this part. Uh, let's look at our cells, which are glutathione-making machines, and we feed them the building blocks uh, to make glutathione. Uh, these are transported into the cell, and uh, the cell uh, now has the specific nutrients it needs, and the cell uses these building blocks or precursors and starts to manufacture glutathione. So all of you know that by now, but realize that when you look at the precursors that are necessary, two of the amino acids are very common in your everyday diet. Uh, you find them in a McDonald's hamburger, you can find them in, in a taco. Uh, the one that's very hard to find is what's called bonded cysteine. And this is why we need immunocal. Immunocal is the richest source of bonded cysteine. So let's go over it again. Now notice, there's a little switch there that we haven't talked about. This is how we tie this all into epigenetics. You take that switch, you turn it on, and you enhance the production of a more powerful, more effective glutathione. Amazing. So now we, Immunitech, are the only company in the world that can give you both the building blocks or precursors you need to make glutathione and give you the NRF2 switch activator so that your glutathione is even more effective. So the, the introduction of the, this booster was such an important event for me. Okay, we're, we're drawing close to uh, uh, finishing this up. Let's look at one more thing here. Let me tell you a story. I want to talk to you about the effect of nutrition on our lives. Here you see two kids. One kid is born into a poor family, and the other kid is born into a rich family. The poor family struggles a bit to get good food, and the rich family has much better access to nutritious food. So you take these two kids and for breakfast, um, they have a kid's meal at a fast food restaurant. And for lunch, they have a bag of potato chips and uh, for supper, maybe some donuts. And in the evening, a snack and who knows what else. So you consistently give these kids all this junk food. So rich kid, poor kid, you give this to them for 30 years. Do you think that there's going to be a difference in what these kids look like 30 or 40 years later? Will they be different, the rich kid and the poor kid? Will they have the same incidence of obesity, heart disease, depression, and more? 
Well, what do you think? What do you think? Here they are 40 years later. One of them is in deep trouble in the intensive care unit after a massive heart attack. And the other one, the rich kid, well, he's still on his cell phone. Why? They're eating the same junk food. Why did the poor kid end up in the ICU and the rich kid end up taking care of business? Because it's not just about what you're eating. Understand this. It's not all about what you're eating. It's about what you're not eating as well. This is just as important. So the rich kid's family is able to get into him good food as well. So in between his hamburger and his donut, his grandmother has given him a nice plate of broccoli or a salad or something else that's actually good for his health. And so what's in these good foods? Phytochemicals, phytonutrients, polyphenols, antioxidants, trace elements, and all these other remarkable substances that we find in fresh fruits and vegetables. These are all going to make a profound difference in his health and his longevity. This is what we call superfoods. Now you're seeing this term everywhere. Yes, the term is a little bit overused, but the point it's trying to convey is that this is going to provide you with things that are just very difficult to obtain in our normal everyday diet, things that are so important to your health. Because it's really, really hard to get the plant nutrients we need, especially these days with what we've done to our foods and the quality of our fruits and vegetables compared to what they were years ago. Even if you have access to these foods and healthcare professionals will tell you to try to eat as many different colors of the fruits and vegetables because they all contain a different set of nutrients. So vary your choices. So the aspect of superfood is critical. So imagine if you can get your hands on all these superfoods. And you're able to get your hands on a powerful NRF2 activator, which makes these superfoods work even better. And when you add in the immunocal and the NRF2 activator and the reds and greens, just imagine how spectacular that would be.